Real quick, I'm currently taking part in Bungie's annual charity event to raise money for kids and those in need. Click the link in the description to donate and receive exclusive rewards in game like this, 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 or this. We're currently in the top 15 in the world right now for money raised as a community, and if you'd like to take part in making a difference, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. People called me a clickbaiting mad lad just a few days ago. Oh Joey, stop clickbaiting your audience, Halo weapons aren't coming to Destiny 2. Well who's laughing now, huh? Well, we actually all are, because hot damn is it so cool to see weapons like the Battle Rifle, Energy Sword, and what we're talking about today, the Combat Evolved Magnum inside Destiny 2. Now, let's waste no more time, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content today, and let's jump into how exactly you're going to get your hands on the new Forerunner exotic sidearm inside Destiny 2. First things first, this weapon is entirely free to play player friendly. I actually did this entire quest line a second time on my free to play account because I forgot to record the first time I did it while I was streaming on Twitch and if that doesn't deserve a like I don't know what does. Anyways to start things off log into Destiny 2 and you'll immediately be put inside the new Dares of Eternity activity. Just do each objective as the game explains it to you until you reach the final boss and kill it. It's nothing too crazy it'll have the instructions on screen for exactly what you need to do to get past each area. Once you've killed the final boss open up your directory and head to the new Eternity the destination on your map, and then go to Zer's treasure hoard that is on the right side of your screen, click into that, and head there. Upon reaching the destination, talk to Zer, and he'll ask you to use a treasure key which you just got from your previous activity to open up the chest that's directly in front of him to get some of the new loot from the event. Now upon doing so, talk with Zer again, and he'll give you the exotic quest for the Forerunner Halo Magnum. This quest is going to ask you to collect 7 strange coins, and to do this, all I did was load back into the Dares of Eternity through the directory and complete Zer's bounties at the same time, which you can buy in his inventory screen. By completing a Dares of Eternity run, you'll get strange coins, and by turning in those bounties that you got from Zer, you'll have additional chances to get strange coins as well. For me, I actually got really lucky and got 4 to drop for me in a row whenever I was turning in these bounties. Now there are plenty of other ways to earn strange coins like the Crucible, strikes, public events, etc. But while you're doing this exotic quest, leveling up your reputation with Zer is very important for a future step, so I highly recommend just running Dares of Eternity and using bounties as a means of getting extra strange coins. Now when gathering your final strange coin, you'll be told that you need to complete 3 Star Horse bounties as your next step. What exactly are Star Horse bounties you ask? Well, they're bounties that you get from a Star Horse. So that's pretty crazy, I know, right? Now, these bounties are gonna cost you strange coins, hence the previous step. And you can only hold one of these at a time, and each bounty must be completed in one run of Dares of Eternity, or the progress will be reset. For me, I just did the three easiest ones starting from the left and going to the right, which means I just did three extra Dares of Eternity runs. They all asked me to basically reach a specific score limit, which wasn't hard at all to get, and get kills with a specific weapon type. One was pulse rifles, another was trace rifles, and the last was shotguns. Each time you complete one of these Star Horse bounties, you'll also get a little loot box that you can redeem for extra goodies, so don't let those go unnoticed in your inventory. When completing your last Star Horse bounty, you'll be asked to obtain a strange key from Zer after reaching rank 4 reputation with him. This is why reputation is important, as you cannot continue without this key in his inventory. So once you've reached your level, either you're already level 4 by now, or you might need to run a few more Dares of Eternity, go back to Zer, grab the key from his inventory, and head to the back of the room so that you can use your strange key and find the anomalous object. Basically, I'm going to shut up now and you'll just have to follow my lead.
Just interjecting here to say that I suck ass at jumping puzzles, so don't mind me. Now, upon opening the cryopod here at the top and receiving your anomalous object, head to the tower on Earth, speak with Banshee, and you'll finally receive your Forerunner exotic pistol. Now, you might notice upon getting your weapon that there is immediately an exotic catalyst slot that needs to be filled, and at the time of making this video, it's not 100% known on how to get this catalyst as we're still in the first 24 hours of the event, but if I had to take a very strong guess, I'd say it comes from reaching level 16 with Xur and getting the anomalous access card seeing as the Forerunner pistol is an anomalous object, so this would make sense. For those that don't know what it does, the catalyst allows you to consume part of your ammo and convert your next grenade into a UNSC frag grenade from Halo, and you can actually see this in action from this trailer bite right here. Now, whenever it comes to the Forerunner exotic pistol, this is basically a sidearm. It's not um, an actual hand cannon, but it does take up special ammo instead of being a primary, so it definitely hits a lot harder than your traditional sidearms. You actually notice that in the Crucible, you can actually three tap people with this sidearm, and it gets really crispy whenever you're using this thing, okay? If you have some ammo, you can use the scope on this thing, because whenever you zoom in, you do get into a scoped uh, view, just like in Halo Combat Evolved, and you basically experience almost no damage drop off or at least you don't have damage drop off for a very long while because I was three tapping people with this thing from very far away inside the crucible and it just felt amazing. Whenever it comes to PvE I don't know exactly how many people are going to be using this pistol inside of PvE it just doesn't seem like something that people would use all that often but maybe the catalyst is really good for this thing maybe the frag grenades that you get deal an insane amount of damage but I'm not too sure normally sidearms aren't all that crazy inside of PvE especially those that are going to take up your exotic slot. What is interesting though is that when taking a look at the exotic trait on this weapon full stop, it says oversized sidearm with extended range, high caliber rounds. It fires full auto with increased rate of fire and deals increased precision damage to unshielded targets. So you do get a lot of damage increase whenever you are shooting enemies in the head if they do not have a shield currently on them and you're hitting that precision point. You do get a lot of damage with this thing. It is 200 rounds per minute. You have a decent amount of ammo in the magazine. It's an overall all really good sidearm but the fact that it is exotic basically means that I probably am not going to be running this thing that much in PvE and mainly just doming people with it in PvP but guys that's going to do it for today's video, the exotic guide on how to get your hands on the Halo Combat Evolved Magnum, and a little bit of a mini review slash first impressions of my time with the weapon. Uh, apologies for getting this video out a bit late, I know that, you know, ex-YouTuber has done said guide before me, uh, but I'm just taking my time and I'm enjoying the 30th anniversary event for what it is before I stress about pumping out new videos. I felt very burnt out on Destiny for a while now, and I'm now really enjoying Destiny a lot thanks to this update. Update, and I didn't want to feel rushed into making this video as it's going to be relevant for years to come I mean this content is going to be lasting a while So the last thing I wanted was to speed through the content speed through the editing and recording of this video and just have it come out Half-assed, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today A like would definitely be appreciated and if you're new here Definitely feel free to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the future destiny content that I'll be posting here Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. I got a pretty big video dropping in about 12 hours from this one that I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to love. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.